Enter the Stars. 40 years ago, a film released with 88 days left in the year. In leap years. The film was called Somewhere in Time, and it starred Christopher Reeve and Jane Seymour. You see, the number 88 is a very important number to those people who want to communicate with the dark side to see past and planned events. Saw when is the 5th of November holiday on the witch's calendar. At that time, the veil is lowest, and these people commune with demons through sacrifice, and in this way, portals are opened. What can I do for you? I have a question for you, sir. Shoot. Is time travel possible? As far as we can tell, based on our years of research, these portals include copper, the Lincoln archetype, some kind of rabbit, mirrors, and banks or money. These very themes repeat in the film Somewhere in Time. Got pockets everywhere? I can pull rabbits out of here. I can pull rabbits out of here. Do you believe in time travel? Donald Darko. Do you, do you know anything about, uh, time travel? Oh yeah, this is the best part. This is a special coin compartment for emergency. Now, the film is a love story about a man and a woman who find each other in time. They fall in love in 1912, which just so happens to be the same year that Trump's mother was born. But Christopher Reeve has to find a way to travel back in time from 1980 to 1912 to make the meeting happen. He hypnotizes himself into believing he's really in 1912. He dresses, acts, and believes that it's really 1912. He even fills his pockets with coins from 1912, except for the fact that he forgets one, a coin dated 1979. He accidentally pulls the coin from his pocket, and through that act, the date on the coin reminds him that he's not in 1912 and it sucks him back into 1980 where he loses his love forever. Richard. Richard. Operator, get Dr. Hull up to suite 313 right away. Sweet 313, sweet 313, sweet 313. Now what makes this film strange are all of the real life time dilation synchronicities that occur surrounding the real events in our life, in our timeline. Like the number of the room 313 where he is found. It links directly into Friday, March 13th, which is when Trump declared the national emergency it's also the date that the new Lincoln $5 bill was revealed in 2008. Sweet 313. 313 also just so happens to be Donald Duck's car plate number and the 313th frame of the JFK footage that shows his actual death. Sweet 313. Sweet 313. Richard! Looks like he hasn't eaten in a week. He's been dining with a man my father is determined that I wed. Ooh, Banker Harwell. Banker Harwell, yes. Another strange anomaly is revealed when Jane Seymour laments that she must be married to a man who is 67 years old. For 67 years, for 67 years and five foot four of height and several hundred pounds of him. Christopher Reeve would have been 67 years old this year, all the way up until his birthday on September 25th. He does have money though, miss, and never lets a soul forget it.
for 67 years. 67 years is also the time frame between 1912 when the film was set and the, hunt and the 1979 date on the penny. That's 67 years. So you see, here we are in 2020, when Reeve would have still been 67 up until his birthday, yet backward and forward in time surrounding this film, we get 67 years. We also get Reeve right in the middle of the timeline in his role as the time traveler. His birth year, 1952, goes back 40 years, puts him in 1912, and from the 1979 penny forward 40 years, puts him at 67 years old this year. You can't make this up. So here we are, at the right place, at the right time, watching the right film. How does this keep happening? Oh, but there's more. Drew Barrymore's great aunt appears in the film. Drew Barrymore would go on to star in Donnie Darko, another time travel film. The most revered actresses on the American stage. For many years, she was the theater's greatest box office draw. Donnie Darko, perhaps with your recent brush with mass destruction, you can give us your opinion. And while on the set, on December 20th, Reeves' first son was born. The same date as Drew Barrymore's great aunt, her theater opened in New York. And finally, Reeves and Seymour's birthdays are 223 days apart. 322, Skull and Bones. 3 times 22 is 66. And Superman would go on to become Apollo, the sun god, who floats on helium and recharges his energy from the sun. Take care and be safe, you guys.